Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe and welcome to Shape by Faith. We shape our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. I hope you enjoy these stretch band Pilates exercises along with scriptures on our spirit. You will only need a light to medium stretch band. So let's get started. Go ahead and place the stretch band around your foot. Make sure it's not gonna slip out. Hold the stretch band sort of like you would hold a microphone with your thumbs up towards you. And let's make our way down to the floor, pulling the belly in, elbows down beside you. Go ahead and extend that leg out, feel that stretch and bring the knee back in. Let's just continue doing that, just warming up this leg with an inhale and an exhale. This opposite leg, you can keep it bent, or if you want it to, you can fully extend it. That's totally up to you. You know, there's a great scripture verse that says, the spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of the most high God. Isn't that encouraging? Isn't that great news today that you are a child of the Most High God? All right, do you feel those muscles at work at the same time? All right, keep breathing with the mouth open, a deep inhale and exhale. Let's do that one more time. Now fully extend the leg, try and keep it straight. Just gently bring it back and forth. I call these windshield wipers. Just bring it back and forth. Again, breathing from your diaphragm, feeling that in your hip flexors and in your glutes, and certainly through your legs. You know, the Word of God is living and it's active. So when you speak the Word of God, it goes out into the atmosphere and it accomplishes exactly what God has purposed it to accomplish. So it's so important that we speak the Word of God as we're exercising, as we're moving around, as we're in our car and at work, just speak it. It is power packed. All right, keep going just back and forth, feeling this in the hamstring muscles a lot and through the hip flexors. All right, let's do that one more time, just back and forth. Now we're gonna do a leg circle, just gently bring that leg around, keeping it straight. Again, feeling this all throughout the legs, feeling that stretch and feeling that strength training going on all at the same time. You know, Peter said to them, don't you love Peter? He said to them, repent and be baptized, every single one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, there's nothing like the Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I mean, the Holy Spirit is power. The Holy Spirit, when you ask the Lord into your life, takes over. And the Holy Spirit comes to live inside of us, right? So you're not alone. All right, keep going in that circle. And again, feeling this real strong in the hamstring muscles. I get real tight in the hamstring muscles, so this one's great for me. And let's go the opposite direction. Just bring it out and around, keeping that spine down, that navel to the spine, and just keep moving through this. Kind of move through the heel, flex that foot, move through the heel. All right, one more time. All right, this next one is terrific for the knee. So bring the leg down and then bring it straight back up. Just real simple here, but very powerful and effective. Keep going through this. You know, Jesus said to them, I am the vine and the truth in life and no one comes to me except through the Father. So when we pray, we pray to Jesus, right? And we go to Him with everything, everything. Go to Him with your day, what's going on in your life, what concerns you, your family, 
and your heart's desires. Just go to him with that. One more. This next one, bring both feet up. And we're gonna go in small circles in one direction, just inhaling and exhaling. Now let's reverse that and go the opposite direction. You know, God is spirit. So those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. All right, feeling this again all through the legs. And let's reverse that one more time, bring it around. Lengthening and strengthening these legs. Last one. Let's bring the opposite leg down. And we're gonna go through that leg bend with this leg. So bring the leg out, bend the knee, and then extend. Take your time and press through your heels. And this feels great. This is amazing for the knees and the hips and the hamstring muscles, the lower leg as well, and the feet. Do not believe every spirit, right? But test the spirits to see whether they are from the Lord or not right? There's a lot of false prophecy out there. And we've got to make sure that what we're listening to is directly from the Lord. All right, feeling this again. Also quads. I feel this atop those legs. And one more. We're going into those windshield wipers. So just bring the leg back and forth. Remember that opposite leg needs to stay in position, whether it's bent or fully extended out there. May the God of peace himself sanctify you completely and may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So let's stay in tune with the Lord. Let's keep our mind on him. Let's renew our mindset daily. And just realize we are so blessed that God is with us. He watches over every detail of our life. One more. I love these leg circles. Again, lead with the heels. And it looks like we're doing nothing, right? But I know you can feel this. I feel this strongly all through the leg. You know, people who aren't spiritual cannot receive truth, right, from God. But if you accept the Lord Jesus Christ into your life and His Spirit, then you begin to distinguish truth from what's not true. So keep the Lord always in the forefront of your mind. All right, let's go the opposite direction and ask the Lord, Lord, is this true? Is what I'm hearing true? Is it real? Is it from you? One more. All right, straight leg lift. Bring that leg down and then back up. Just take your time with this. Inhale lower and breathe and exhale up. Good, keep going. There is a spirit within people and the breath of the Almighty is with them, right? And that makes them intellectual intelligent. You don't have to have a lot of knowledge in the books, right? So when you have the Lord Jesus Christ, He gives you wisdom and knowledge and truth. All right, feeling this again strongly through the legs keeping that belly tight the whole time, even though we're lying down. And one more. Bring the leg up. We're gonna join that opposite leg up there and go back to the corkscrew. Now on this time, what we're gonna do is circle in one direction and then circle back the opposite direction. So each time you're alternating as you're breathing and feeling the stretch. Shoulders stay down, that low back stays down. You know, you must realize that no prophecy in scripture ever came from false prophets, right? They came from those who the Lord gave them the words that they were to speak. All right, keep going. This one's called the corkscrew. 
You're just gonna go back and forth, circling those legs. And that belly, pull it in. How do your legs feel right now? I mean, I'm feeling it strongly. All right, one more time. Now we're gonna bring both those legs down. And we're gonna take the stretch band and double it. And we're gonna go into a bridge. So bring the band up, then bring it over the head. Take a deep inhale. As you lift up and roll up through the spine, bring that band up and then lower down. Let's do that again. Exhale up and then lower down. Keep your eyes on Jesus, right? The author and the perfecter of our faith. So keep your eyes on him. And how do you do that? Well, I ask the Lord, Lord, help me. Help me, Father, in those times that I veer off and my eyes are not on you, Father. Bring me back to you. And he does every single time. Let's do that about three more times. Feeling that, that feels so good to move through the spine and the hips and the glutes. One more time and then lower down. Now take the band and we're gonna do a pull down. So you can hold the ends of the band. You're gonna bring the band up. So you're gonna pull it down and then go straight back up. So let's go ahead and lift up in our bridge and hold right there, make sure everything feels fine. And then lower down, pull the band out and then go right back up again. Faith is the assurance in what we hope for, right? So faith is the assurance for what we hope for. It's not necessarily in what we can see. Faith is all about believing without seeing. All right, keep going. All right, this feels great through the shoulders and through the chest and through the spine and the back and those glutes. So you're really lifting up from your glutes as you lift. Same thing as you lower down and you're trying to roll through that spine and breathe at the same time. So stay focused on the Lord. Lord, thank you for helping us today in our bodies. Thank you, Father, as we strengthen them for your purposes and for your glory. One more and lower down. Now what you can do on this next one, you can either put the stretch band down or place it across your hips and keep your hands down. So on this one, you just want a little bit of resistance as you lift up. So you wanna feel that across the hips and feel that in the glutes. Very good. You know, we're supposed to teach what is appropriate right, to sound doctrine. So teach from the word of the Lord. That's the best textbook we can teach from. Just open up the word and teach from that. Just read the word and get it in your heart and in your mind and in your spirit. All right, again, lifting up and lowering down. And with the stretch pain, you definitely can feel a difference a little bit of resistance on the lift face. Bring those ribs in and breathe. I kind of like this one. I hope you do too. Let's do that two more times. One more time. All right, very nice. Tune in next time as we continue shaping bodies and hearts for God's purposes with Teresa Rowe as we all become shaped by faith. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe, and I believe that shopping is a ministry. The Shape by Faith shop offers many unique products and apparel that will be sure to make a statement that you are a child of God. These shirts and workout tanks are comfy, trendy, and offer a high level of modesty. Most important, the clothing is a great way to start a conversation with people you meet. Our most popular apparel is Warrior in Training, 
born for a time such as this. Prayer, coffee, workout, love one another, and fear not. But you can never go wrong with our classic Shape by Faith shirts, tanks, and lightweight pullovers. Shop shapedbyfaith.com for this and many other faith-based products. The website also offers encouraging columns, weight loss testimonials, blogs, radio, and television shows, and Shape by Faith breaks. That's shapedbyfaith.com.